Welcome to Lexington, where the sun shines bright literally and figuratively on their old Kentucky home and the Big Blue Nation ready to get behind these Wildcats in this one. We are in full-on stripe-out mode as the fans doing their part to try to distort the vision of the visitors. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles, taking on a team from the SEC, the Kentucky Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Looking for an alley from inside his own tent. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So the Kentucky Wildcats offense will get the first crack at it here. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football, finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it go, and just, you can trust him. Everything is available. But you're not playing with one arm behind your back. you got all guns blazing. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Quick handoff. Nice move to keep running. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Gives it to the back on the draw. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Kentucky will be forced to punt. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. He'll bring it back. It's Buckley. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. So the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles offense will go to work for the first time today. First down here for the offense. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. From the gun, the running back has it. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Looking for that first down on 30 short from the 28. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. The Golden Eagles come to the line with a new set of downs. The pull and throw off the RPO. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. It'll be a draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Golden Eagles will punt this one away. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He's going to throw deep right side. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't hook up. They'll go back to work after the incompletion here, second and 10 from the 36. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Makes the stop at the 49, but not before he gets him. Plus territory gets 15 and a first down. They'll go to the ground. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. After the productive first down play in second and six. To throw, it's Vandergrift. 
Safe completion on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? They'll turn to the jet sweep to try to convert. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. And the Wildcats are flying down the field. On the run, it's Trena. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Right back to the well. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. This will be the seventh play of the drive, and they need to convert third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to it. The defense was in the dime package. They didn't have to send an extra rusher. The big fellas up front took care of that. Yeah, and all dime means is I'm bringing an extra fast guy on the field and taking an extra fat guy off the field. But listen, the fat guys still get home. Isn't that beautiful? The big, athletic defensive line still does a great job getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They call it a coffin corner kick for a reason, and you really can't do it any better than that. He puts that thing out of bounds right around the goal line. They'll try the run. That's a good run to give them some breathing room. Pick up a three out to the five. Got three on first down at second and seven. Quarterback on the keeper. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. You've got a third and manageable back up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Now they'll run the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Golden Eagles line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you... And he's running in the open. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. And that's why you have to have the jet sweep in your repertoire if you're this offense. That receiver has tremendous speed. He's so dangerous in the open field. You saw it on that play. They ripped off a huge chunk, and now a little chunk is needed to pay it off. Motion from the offense. They're going to give it to the wide receiver on first and goal. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. They're going to throw it on third and goal. Pocket starts to collapse. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. And it's third and goal, and listen, they're throwing for it. Um, I get it, but we got to understand the shortness of the field down here and what I can get off quickly. I can't can't take sacks. I want to give myself that opportunity on fourth down to have a really manageable situation if I want to go for it. And they'll send out the Number field goal unit the field from goal. the left hash. And this distance ought to make that angle pretty easy to handle. It is perfect. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. 
Michigan is trailing right now, but let's be honest. The program that turned out Tom Brady should never be counted out of any game. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Fresno State. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They'll try it on the ground, running the counter. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll run it on the counter. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. It's a draw. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Golden Eagles will line up to punt it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. The offense lining up for a first down play. He leaves it with the back. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He'll try to pop the draw. Brought down at the 28, but it's a 10-yard gain. Now on first down from the 28. He's looking to throw it. They're trying to get to it. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Well, this offense giveth, and then it turned around and giveth it back. And I think a bunch of people are going to go, why don't they just turn around and hand the ball off? I'm not going to hand the ball off every single play. I understand nice big play, the play before, but listen, you got to mix it up. you got to keep them guessing, but you obviously want to have a little more success than the sack. Movement here from the tight end. Power football with the run. Trying to tackle this guy's a business decision as he gets it up to the 29. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Pressure coming. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Number Might be a good call later on in the game. Kentucky sends out the punting unit. He'll try to really get into this one. On the move, it's Buckley. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Southern Mississippi has it back, and the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Got three on first down at second and seven. Just feeds the running back. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? He'll keep it himself. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. Thrust that arm out. Good blocking, good running pickup of six out to the 30. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. The give to the back. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. A third down try for the offense. To the ground to try to pick up the first. 
And the Wildcats will move the sticks. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Wide receiver shows motion. The receiver on the jet sweep. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They try to pop a run on the draw. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. They'll run for it on third and short. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tackle a little something extra on their lead before the break. Quick strike complete. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. To the air, it's Vandergriff. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. And a nice grab there. Big pickup down to the 35-yard line. They'll throw it on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Second and ten after the previous play. Looking to throw it again. Unloads it left. Got him downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. He'll come out throwing on first down. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wildcats. One of the areas they really focused on on this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. We're taking shots. We need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not, so being on the same page, and then having a guy that can go get him. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play, just like he did right there for six points. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chip, and that pass intercepted. How about that? Making a play and setting up your offense inside the 40 at the 39. That's the advantage right there of having your dime personnel on the field. You've got an extra DB. You've got an extra guy out there who's really good at covering. So for quarterbacks, you've got to be so good and precise with these passes because they've got speed in the back end. They're able to come away with the pick. Couldn't ask for better field position for this offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. He wants to throw. They're bringing heat. He looks that one in nicely. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Back to throw, it's Vandergriff. Snags it! Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. They'll immediately call timeout. They've got it down to the three, now it's second and goal. On the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Trying to get to him. Come, nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. The defense pounced on that, and now they're headed the other way. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime.
We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. One of the best atmospheres in football, and we've got a fun one from Lexington. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Old Commonwealth Stadium and Kroger Field. The Wildcats will kick it away first and will start the second half. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Southern Mississippi has it back and the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. Across the 30, out to the 33, and gains four on the play. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Leaves it with the running back. Still on his feet at the 45. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. The Golden Eagles are in the hurry up. I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. You get to the right and get him in space using his speed. Good play call. Handoff from the shotgun. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They can really use a conversion not to mention multiple scores. Dropping back, it's Buttermaker. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone, they're playing their spaces, they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush, they win up front. And the Golden Eagles will bring the punt team onto the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. That fumble in plus territory just ruined that last drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating when you got the offense moving a little bit and you put that thing on the deck, Jesse. But move on, reload, forget about it. At the end of the day, it's just fundamental football, right? They practice it all week. Five points of pressure. Every ball carrier has to have it. They just got to do a better job moving forward. Danced his way through traffic. Pick up a four to the 19. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. Getting some heat. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. And that's the thing about this defense. Yeah, they may be losing the game right now, but they've got difference makers on that side of the football. they got guys that can step up like that, create havoc, get a sack, create negative plays. They're going to need more of that here in the second half if they're going to win this game. Kentucky will be forced to punt. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. Looking for a block, it's Buckley. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. A third and long coming up here. Back to pass. It's Rodemaker. Pocket starts to collapse. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. The 
Golden Eagles decide to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. And it looks as if there will be no return here as the punt goes out of bounds. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. It has been a complete uphill struggle for both of these offenses, Jesse. It sure has. At this point, David, someone's just going to have to step up and make a play. Someone's got to break a tackle, make an incredible catch, and just give some life to this offense. And whatever you can, whatever it takes. Don't worry about looking pretty. That's out the window. We've already looked really, really ugly. we got to find something that works to put some points on it. On third down, he drops the throw. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious. Time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. This defense having their way. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Caught in the backfield. It's Clark. And just a short and safe pass play. They pick up a few. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down, or else they are really in trouble. They're trying to get to it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. And the Golden Eagles will call on their punt team. Running it back, it's Brown. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Pressure coming. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Kentucky will be forced to punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Slips through the line. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. Looking for space. It's Clark. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking to pass. It's Rodemaker. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff. And a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. The Golden Eagles will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out. They got 
gets stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. Line gets set, first down. One back in the backfield, he gets the carry. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Kentucky has the lead. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Wide out in motion. The give to the tailback. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Looking to throw. They'll run the screen. Makes one man miss. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Kentucky back at it with a fresh set of downs. Leaves it with the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. This Kentucky offense doing work. They're set up with another first down. To the air, it's Vandergriff. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy. It's second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. Trying to make magic with his feet. Gets away from one, finds some space. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. I'll tell you what, coaches want you to do your best work late in the ball game. He did his best work. Great job taking off. Biggest run of the day after grinding this game out, grinding this game out, makes it explosive. Now trying to put this game in a good situation. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And this offense has gotten off to a good start on third down, but this is a different deal on third and long. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. The kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And now the lead is even bigger. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Southern Mississippi has it back and the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to throw. It's Rodemaker. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. This is just so demoralizing. You want to talk about taking a game over. That's what this defense is doing right now. They are just winning in the trenches. They're easily the more athletic and more physical unit up front, dominating this O-line. This defense has them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Trying to get to him. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. 
down in the fourth quarter. It's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Coming after him. They got him. It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on down. Yeah, and unfortunately, in the fourth quarter, losing, you've got to put the foot on the accelerator. you got to make something happen. So I get they had to be aggressive and go for it. They just can't seem to get this offense to make plays when they need it the most. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah. He'll take a shot. Got it. And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they've got it right on the doorstep. Wide receiver coming across in motion. He let the thing fly quickly, but he couldn't make the connection. Got stopped on first down. They'll try it again from the two. Pushes ahead. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Wildcats! Well, they were able to come out here in week one and really feed off the energy of this home crowd. They've been making plays all over the field. You could not ask for a better start to the season. Try to tack on two. To the air, it's Vandergriff. He's got it. Two point try is good as they build on this lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Southern Mississippi, zero. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. Throws to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Mims. And they'll get him down, but boy, did he put some dudes in the spin cycle. My goodness. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Now they've got it at the 44 on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Really need positive yards on second down. After the incompletion, they'll snap it from the 44. He's looking to throw. Hubs it downfield. Got a wide open receiver. Touchdown, Southern Mississippi. A great catch and run for six. And that's why this running back is so dangerous. It's not just handing him off the football, but he's a weapon in the passing game. You see his, his ability to catch it, turn up field, make people miss, and find the end zone. PAT unit on the field. And after the extra point, they're now down 21 to 7. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Michigan is currently ahead in this one inside a jam-packed big house, but the Bays and Blue have struggled to really pull away. They're up by 11 over Fresno State. Looking for a man, it's Vandergriff. For now, it's back to you, fellas. But, of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And here comes the offense on second down. They'll put the tight end in motion. Trying play action. He lobs one high down the left side. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. Here's the snap, looking to throw.
feeling some heat. And he just wore out his welcome in the pocket, stayed in there way too long, a coverage sack for this defense. The offensive line coach will be pulling his hair out. His head coach is okay right now because they're winning the game, but from an O-line standpoint, they've been atrocious in pass pro. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. On the return, it's Buckley. Made a defender miss. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Going up top on first down. Fires to the wide out. It's caught. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He's going to pass. Getting some heat. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. This poor quarterback has been running for his life. He has never been able to get his feet set stare downfield and try and pick this defense apart because he's constantly throwing the pressure in his face. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. And the Golden Eagles will hustle to the line. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Throwing right. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Throws toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Southern Miss! Touchdown. Old Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens, get you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. All oh, Uncle Mo on your side. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Southern Mississippi, 14. He'll start the return inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. RPO complete to open the drive. At the 45 on his way. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with the lead late would be trying to run the football, right, or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The give as they work on that clock. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Trying to move them on the counter. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Now facing a third and long. Looking for room. It's Trainer. Gets behind those pads, picks up four on the play, but it's still a fourth down and three. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Smashes it between the uprights. And that will extend their lead even further. The 
thing you want to do here is give up a big return, pin them back, and then the defense can just stop them from scoring a touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. Looking to go up top on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. Had to get rid of it quickly. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Looking for a man. It's Rodemaker. They're trying to get to it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. We sensed a great deal of confidence, almost a smugness from this coaching staff. And these guys on the field, it's as if they knew they were going to win. Yeah, playing with a bit of a chip on their shoulder, and I think they really felt like they had a real good game plan offensively and defensively coming into this one, David. There were some matchups on the field they thought they could exploit. We saw that happen. No doubt. Good job by this coaching staff, understanding who's out there to make plays, feeding them the football, offense, defense, special teams, all working together to get the W. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.